Hey, what's up, guys? Kellen again here with Droid Life, continuing our coverage of all of Moto's new announcements uh, this evening. So we wanted to take a, a closer look at the Moto X and some of the new software enhancements that Motorola's built in. So a couple of things to get straight before we move on. Active display, which is the light up sort of section uh, in the middle of your phone on the original Moto X that showed notifications and time and stuff. It's rebranded, is now called Moto Display. And touchless control, which is the voice control uh, sort of system is now called Moto Voice. And then you also have Moto Assist, and then you have a new thing called Moto Actions. So it's this whole Moto um, suite, basically, if you will, is sort of taken over your phone. Uh, but starting with Moto Actions, so there's four IR sensors on your phone now, or on the new Moto X. And basically, what you need to do is just kind of wave your hand over the phone, and that will wake up the uh, clock and also show you if you have notifications. Now you can also do this if you have an incoming call, you can actually wave over it and that will mute the call in case you wanna do that. Uh, but it's really nice if you just kind of are reaching for your phone, uh, it'll wake it up so you don't actually have to pick it up if you wanna just look at the time and uh, see if you have notifications or something, which is kind of cool. So that's Moto Actions. Uh, I'm gonna send myself a message here. So message shows up uh, and I pick this up and I want to interact with it. So Moto Display is just like Active Display was, where I touch a notification, I can swipe up to get into that app or swipe down to unlock, or you can swipe left or right and that will dismiss it as well. Now you can have up to three notifications showing at a time on here, and uh, you can just touch each one and it will sort of show you that preview like I'm getting now. Uh, if you look up top here, you do have date showing and battery status. I don't believe those were in the original, though somebody can correct me if I'm wrong there. But so you do have those showing up as well. So active display or moto display is what's called now. It's been improved uh, a little bit there. Uh, so if we swipe down, you will get into obviously your phone, but I want to jump into this moto app. So if you jump into the moto app, this is sort of your hub for all of these moto things like moto voice and display and uh, assist and then those actions. So the first time you launch this, you can see it says hello Kellen, but you train it to have a launch phrase. Now in the original moto X, you had to say, okay, Google now. And when you said, okay, Google now, it would pop up and then you could search and voice things and all that good stuff. So you can customize that to be whatever you want now. And so I actually customize mine to be, what is up my dude? What's the weather like right now? And so yes, that is actually how it's 81 degrees and mostly cloudy in Chicago. <laughs> that is Chicago. how I, uh, I get my phone activated. So again, you can do this with the phone off as well, right? So I can say, what is up my dude? What's the weather like right now? And again, it will do that. So sort of that touches control. It's just called Moto Voice now. Uh, if we go back into this app though, you do have a settings button up here. So this is where you control Moto Assist. So you still have these sleeping, so you can have your phone automatically sleep and turn off notifications and stuff. There's a driving mode, so it'll recognize if you're driving. There's your home and meeting as well. So none of that stuff's really changed all that much. Although there is supposed to be a voice action where you could say your launch phrase and then just say good night to your phone and it will put it to sleep. I tried it a couple times and it either knows that it's only 3 p.m. or just doesn't working for me. So that is there. And you could also in the morning when you wake up, use your launch phrase and then say good morning and it will turn everything back on to normal, which is kind of cool. Um, so in here though, here are your actions. So there's wave to silence and there's also approach, which is where you just wave over your wave over your phone to get it to show up. So uh, here's voice. So this is where you could change your launch phrase if you'd like. And then here is display where you can actually select which apps show up, things like that. So there's some more customization there, but basically this stuff's pretty familiar. It's just kind of all been rebranded. Now they have added some new things. Uh, well, you can say find my phone and your phone will notify you. That's not necessarily new, but the good morning, good night stuff I believe is new. You can also post uh, two third party apps now. So I could say, what is up my dude? Post to Facebook. install the app then try again yeah so I don't have Facebook installed so it won't let me do that but if I did you could post a status to Facebook you could also do that with whatsapp send a message or you can also do this with YouTube so if I say what is up my dude play droid life on YouTube opening YouTube you can say cancel at any time okay so the YouTube's a little slow, but it does work, and you'll see it does a little search for Droid Life there, and pulls up Droid Life. Play Kinda Droid cool. Life, say, try again to play something else. And remember, cancel. So remember, you can do this with uh, 
with with you know with the phone laying down or in your hand or whatever. So third party app uh, support is coming. Now, there's some other things you could do, like you could say, "What is up, my dude? What's up?" Hello, the time is 3:42 p.m. You received a notification from mailbox at three. So basically, that goes through your notifications then and tells you a bunch of stuff that's going on, basically just by asking it, what's up, which is kind of cool. Uh, the other thing you can do then is, what is up, my dude? Take a selfie. And we'll go a little selfie action and countdown and boop. So you can do that as well. So you can take selfies on the fly uh, without ever touching a button if you want. So that's kind of uh, Moto Voice and Moto Display. So you guys have kind of seen that. Um, we also have the quick wrist action to launch the camera. That is back. Now I haven't tested the camera. Um, let's bring the... Uh, 360 in here. So I haven't really tested the camera much, so I don't really have feedback for you on that yet. We'll have much more. I will say that it's incredibly fast. So basically you touch and it takes a photo and it's instant and it's ready to take another one. Um, you can still swipe out from the edge to uh, get into say the uh, tap to focus. So you can drag this around and focus there and then I'll tap that and take a photo. So you can change that as well. Um, now Motorola is doing something uh, where if you take a photo and they detect motion or motion blur, it will actually take multiple photos and then recommend what it thinks is the best photo for you. So it's kind of doing that in the background. I don't actually know if that's a feature that can be turned off or on, um, but it, it's doing that. So they're trying to work a little magic there. It's 13 megapixel camera. Don't know if I mentioned that again. Uh, it initially starts out taking widescreen 10 megapixel shots though. You can actually change that to a standard four by three, which is the actual 13 megapixel shots. So we'll do some testing there, uh, panorama mode, um, auto flash, uh, and we haven't actually tested the flash. So uh, it's a new flash that is supposed to be a lot softer. And so let's look at the result there. So uh, not exactly the best situation to test that in, but the new flash is there. Um, we'll go ahead and turn that off. Uh, HDR auto mode. And uh, you know, that's basically a look at the camera. There's not a lot of change there. Uh, you do have, again, that selfie mode. Uh, if you wanna flip cameras, you have a button over here. You can take video as well. So that's just a quick look at the camera. And we'll test it to see if the quality on it's any good. You know, one of the big, the big deals with uh, the original Moto X is the camera just wasn't great. So we will uh, definitely give that a run. And uh, other, that, other than that, the software, you can see the at t model definitely has some bloatware going on up there. Um, Oh, I did want to point out in the gallery, so they've added some new things, which is this right here, highlight reel. So this is kind of a, they've kind of copied this from uh, HTC, if you will. Uh, basically, you take a bunch of photos at an event or something, and uh, Motorola will, you know, your Moto X will recognize that, and <laughs> there's my selfie. And it will uh, then try to put together a highlight reel for you in video form. And it, basically, it's just like HTC's uh, highlights and Zoe's and all that stuff. So, you know, you can do that. And, uh, and, and play with that sort of setting and share the videos and things like that. So it's not necessarily a, uh, oh, there you go, there's highlights. So needs location and things like that and it'll create highlights of a whole bunch of videos you've done. So uh, yeah, highlights, you know, we'll play with that more later. But again, if you've played with an HTC device, you kind of get it, but it's still kind of a nice add on there. Uh, otherwise, you got a lot of Google apps. Um, some, again, some bloat, spotlights back. We'll go into settings. And there's not a lot in here that you're gonna see new or changed. It's mostly stock Android. And uh, that's pretty much it. No SD card slot, by the way. Uh, we do have storage, this is a 16 gig model. And I've only installed a couple of apps and I've got about 10 gig left. So without SD card storage and 16 gig, not a lot, not a lot of room there to add in a bunch of other stuff. And here is the, uh, the about screen. So Moto X second generation, if you wanna get really official, uh, Moto, Motorola's mobile computing system, which is basically that X8, which is, you know, allows you to uh, be at standby all the time and not kill battery and all that stuff. Android 4.4.4. Um, for those really into details, there's Victara, which is the code name. So we saw that pop up at FCC for Verizon the other day. So Victara is the code name of the new Moto X, officially confirmed there if you needed extra confirmation there. So anyways, it's just been kind of a quick look at uh, some of the software on the Moto X. Again, we'll test the camera, test battery life. We will, uh, you know, see how the uh, black leather here weathers and wears well. Uh, so far though, it just, it really seems like an improved Moto X. 
uh, in all the right places, which is kind of what we wanted to see. We just hope that camera is as improved as we're hoping. So uh, uh, anyways, if you guys got comments, questions, we'll have uh, plenty more if you need it. Uh, we are Droid Life with the new Moto X. Peace.